Nix.js is an amazing distribution known for its beautiful logo and steep learning curve. And so today I wanted to showcase a bunch of tips that will improve your Nix.js experience, making it so easy even your grandma could use it. Tip number one. If you don't have the time to mess around with those crazy Nix files, use nixenf-ia command to install packages. It installs packages globally, just like on Ubuntu, saving you a ton of time and mental capacity. This great command is also recommended on many GitHub repos and the search website, so I personally see zero reasons not to use it. Tip number two. Many NixOS users are also software engineers, and that is because of the amazing Nix shells. They allow you to create shells with specific packages, separating your user environment from the development one. To set up such shell, simply use the Nix shell command with a dash p flag and your packages listed after that. You can even append it with a dash dash command flag to run commands upon entering the shell, which is very useful for those who don't like bash. Personally, I like to use PowerShell for my shells because of its excellent integration with the Unity programming language. Writing this long command every time gets a little bit tedious, so I highly recommend you to make shell scripts containing it for every single project you have. Tip number 3. Tip number 4. Use ChatGPT. NixOS has been around for many years at this point, so even though ChatGPT has limited knowledge of the world and its events after 2021, it does an amazing job helping you out with writing some Nix expressions, or introducing you to some new amazing options you never knew existed. Tip number 5. Use NixOS to configure your home directory. You may have already heard about Home Manager, which lets you declare your user config files with Nix. It also works everywhere Nix does, bringing your favorite ecosystem wherever you want. However, its biggest downside is that it is extremely difficult to set up. I personally never understood the appeal of using it, because all my machines, including my smartphone and Samsung smart fridge, already use NixOS. And the simple trick I use to put this entire project to shame is declaring home files with system.activation scripts. Everything we put here gets executed when your configuration gets activated, making it a perfect place to declare your dot .files in. You could use GNU stow here, but I personally like to use a bunch of cat commands and direct their standard output into the correct locations. Tip number 6. In some of my videos, you can see that all of my systems are very minimal and keyboard driven, which could create an impression that NixOS is also very hard to use and unintuitive. It is of course not true, because you can use NixOS with any user-friendly desktop environment, including Windows 1. Because as we all know, an operating system literally named Windows does an amazing job at managing your Windows and definitely doesn't make organizing them miserable. By installing NixOS in VSL, you can have all best things from both worlds, like spending half an hour every day waiting for Windows to update, and then spending another half an hour writing a development shell with one Python library. To install NixOS VSL on Windows, we first have to... Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> 